Um, right now we're currently standing in the conservation garden here at the zoo. It is uh, a garden that helps teach people about basically wildlife conservation and citizen science and monarch conservation. So the Tulsa Zoo is known uh, for its global conservation efforts, but people don't realize how much we do locally here in the United States and here in the state of Oklahoma. And two of the things that we really concentrate on are monarch butterflies and American bearing beetles. So in this garden, uh, basically it's three gardens in one, but the main focus is pollinators and the importance of pollinators in Oklahoma. And so a few years back, the zoo joined a coalition with organizations throughout the city of Tulsa. It's called the Monarch Initiative of Tulsa. And we're also a part of the Oklahoma Monarch and Pollinator Collaborative and the Okies for Monarchs Coalition. And so both of those programs are centered around getting people within the community proactive about monarch conservation. And this garden basically teaches folks how and what they can do to be involved on a, a, a level of conservation at their house. And so you learn how to plant uh, native species and the importance of native pollinators and uh, basically help monarch butterflies. Uh, they come through Tulsa twice a year and uh, this garden basically provides those resources they need throughout the year. The uh, Monarch Initiative Tulsa has worked in collaboration with many organizations. Uh, really it's just one voice so the collaboration builds w uh, one voice to teach folks uh, what it is about monarchs and wh what their role is in the environment and the important role that they play for pollinating. So. So when you come to the zoo, when you're in this garden, one of the things you'll notice right away is there are these interpretive signs. And basically these signs help kind of walk you through the steps of what to consider if you're wanting to put in a garden in your house. Um, so you can pretty much figure out everything that you would need to do from just spending about 15 minutes, if, if less, in this garden and looking at all the different uh, resources and the, the, the plants themselves and design a garden in your house. And, it doesn't matter if you live in a, in a, in a, on a farm or in the middle of Tulsa or in the middle of Oklahoma City or in an apartment in Skytook. Um, you can put in a way station, a monarch way station, which is basically just a garden that provides resources for monarchs as they migrate through the uh, spring and in, in the fall. And so if you live in an apartment, you could take the same model and put it in planters uh, and pots and have it out on your balcony at your apartment. If you're interested in finding out more about what you could do to get involved with monarch conservation, you can go to the Tulsa Zoo's website or um, you can go to okiesformonarchs.org and is also a great website with lots and lots of resources on how to put in a garden at your house. Um, it's really simple and uh, it's really easy to do. It just takes a little bit of time and it's very rewarding. Uh, when you put in a garden, um, it's just amazing the things you see. So. The important factor is it's not just for monarchs, but it's for all pollinators. So if you put a garden at your house, you'll just be astonished by all the different bird species you see and the different invertebrate species you see.